Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Odyssey Arena this evening here in Belfast for tonight's Elite League clash between the hometown team, the Belfast Giants, and the visitors to the Odyssey tonight. It's the Nottingham Panthers. I'm going to watch them what's going on off the puck as much as uh, what's going on on the puck. Oh, you're right. Oh, the, 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 there's another big hit there. It, it's turned over the goal for the Belfast Giants. It's great big puck. And while all the hard hitting was coming from the Panthers in that shift as they were dumping Giants in the ice, they turned the puck over in the Giants zone. And the 6.57 gone in this opening period. It was Peacock who took advantage. He looked off the pass and put the puck through the five hole of Neil Conway. And it's the Giants won the Panthers nil. Right, here's Elfring, sorry, Simon. Walking in, he tried to bank it off. There's a chance of an open net. And Cody Birdwell picks his spot and scores. Great start by the Belfast Giants tonight. 12.32 to go by my calculation. That is 35 seconds after they took the lead. They've now doubled their advantage. Uh, the puck goes away of the Panthers. And that's a nice pass. Chance for the Panthers to get back into it. And a great save to Matt Ryan by Stephen Murphy. Wes steps inside his man. Try to try to make a pass along the blue line. It didn't work and uh, allows Lakovic now to come across. Lakovic shoots and Stephen Murphy drops the puck. And the Panthers are back in the game. And it's Matt Ryan who was following in there, and uh, you're going to have to chalk that one up to a mistake by the Giants goaltender, Stephen Murphy, and with 7.07 to go, the Panthers have got the break that they needed to get back into this one. It's the Giants 2, the Panthers 1. It's, uh, Phillips tries uh, Higgins. Oh, that's a big hit in Kevin Phillips. That's going to be a penalty. That's going to pull the crowd in, and keeps in there hammering away. Well, that did look as though it snapped Kevin Phillips' head back. It might have been high. It's, I think Kevin Phillips had his head bent. He just didn't have his head up, Kevin Nigel. You know, and, and it was it, Matt, Matt, I think the head came from Matt Ryan. Sorry. Yep, no, it, it definitely did. Yeah. No, it was definitely Matt Ryan. You know, Mike Hicks did not put his hand up for a penalty. Um, it did look as if it was a clean hit, but Kevin Phillips just basically had his head down. But that's, you know, you, you, if you're basically going to throw a hit like that in this league, um, and you've got Adam Keefe on the ice, you're going to have to stand up and be counted. So here come the Panthers looking for the equalizing goal and they've got it as well and Grimaldi has scored a rocket from the right point by Joe Grimaldi and I don't think it took a deflection. There was a Panther in front of Stephen Murphy but I'm pretty certain it didn't take a deflection and Grimaldi's going to get credit for that and suddenly with 4.30 to go in the first period we're all tied up at two. The uh, Panthers turn it over there and it allows Dustin White caught the wind and fire off the post. Off the outside of the post from White Cotton. Now the Panthers have it uh, set up better and a chance in front and they're battering away at it and the puck's underneath Stephen Murphy and uh, Farmer swung a punch there. And a chance, uh, chance in front, Daryl Lloyd who got the, uh, the touch on the puck from Mason centering pass and that's going to draw a bit of a crowd as well. Daryl Lloyd putting himself about our side is in there. Here comes Elfring, but a chance in front. Oh, and it was Peacock had the big effort. Well saved by Conway. Mason follows up, and that shot takes a deflection. A two minute hooking penalty as the Giants try to spread this power play out. But Sandrock, oh, and he had it at the back post. And Peacock's, Peacock has scored on the rebound. And uh, it was well worked. They spread the power play out. Sandrock with a slap pass to the side of the net. It was almost one pass too many. For some particular reason, Higgins never loses, likes to shoot the puck. He always wants to have the assist. They set up the first opportunity for, for uh, Peacock. You thought it was a save. I thought it might come off the post. Did, uh, did Conway get his pad across I think, that? I think Conway got his left leg on it. It was a great save. And unfortunately for the Panthers, uh, Peacock got the rebound and uh, put it into the back of the nets. Oh, and there's a bad uh, check there, and that's... Uh, I'm trying to see which Giants player. I think it's. And Murray's I think it's Daryl Lloyd. Puck breaks to Sandrock. And, and here we go. And Keith had enough of Grimaldi there, and uh, Grimaldi didn't fancy it. No, he just got the turtle going, and and uh, he just basically didn't stand up and be counted. Well, Grimaldi is looking. He's going to the saying, I didn't drop the gloves. Giants are back to full strength, and Murphy makes a brilliant save as the Hooter goes. And that was a chance, a big chance for the Nottingham Panthers. It was Jensen, I think, was in there. Murphy makes the save. The teams go to the locker rooms. Okay. 
but uh, the Panthers still have it. Oh, chance at the back, and that is the equalizing goal on the power play. They worked the back post move very, very well indeed, and it's been the impressive Petr Kalus who scores the equalizer. This game tied at three with 7.35 to go. Giants are going to go on the power play, but they've got the extra skater on here, and now can they take advantage? Nice pass. Brookwell risks a shot. Brookwell's going to get another chance. Side of the net. Chance again, and a goal! And Surrett at the second time of asking has put the Giants ahead by four goals to three with 6.11 to go with a delayed penalty call on Matt Francis. It was Brookwell got the shot off. Uh, Conway made one, he made at least two good saves yeah. actually. But uh, the puck wasn't killed by the Panthers and Surrett at the second time of asking knocked home the uh, rebound from Conway into the roof of the net. The Giants are back in front. Went down, the goaltender is out, Conway's out. Empty net for the Giants. Surrett, toe drags and misses the net. Higgins now, he'll, he'll not want to put it in the net, he'll want to get an assist. Not even <laughs> and the hooter goes, and the Belfast Giants have defeated the Nottingham Panthers here at the Odyssey Arena tonight by four goals to three, and the uh, Giants faithful, and there's a lot of them in the house tonight on their feet. They enjoyed that one this evening. Coach, 13 points ahead, ninth straight victory for the Belfast Giants, and now 10 points ahead as well in the Airhide Conference. You must be a very happy coach. Yeah, that's a big win for us, especially against a good team like Nottingham to uh, you know put them even further behind. They have a few games in hand, so they're going to catch up with those points if they win those games. But again, any time we put one of the contenders a bit further back, it, it, it helps our cause. And we've certainly turned the Odyssey into a bit of a fortress again. You know, Over the last couple of years, we've done very well on the road, but we're now starting to become very consistent at home as well. Yeah, I think uh, you're right. Our road record's been incredible this year. And our home record uh, is gotten better and better, and we've really had a good run here. Uh, you know, the, the home games we kind of had in reserve in the month of December, we've, uh, we've picked up those points, which isn't, which isn't always easy in the month of December with everything going on. But our guys have been very disciplined and focused and looked after themselves, and it's paying off out on the ice. I thought we came out of the traps very well in those opening 10, 12 minutes of the first period. Craig, Craig Peacock come up as well with two very important goals tonight. Just, I, your thoughts generally speaking on the game and, and obviously the likes of Craig Peacock coming up with two very important goals. Well, you know, he, he's got such a great shot. I mean, he just lets it go really quick and goalies just don't have time to move. And what I like about Peacock is it doesn't matter where I put him. He goes out and produces and shows up to play hard every night and never complains. And he's got a great attitude. He's a very talented player. And the more I watch him, the more I coach him, the more I enjoy having him on the team. And credit to him. Two big goals again tonight and a fantastic performance. And again, we, we stayed calm whenever we obviously went 2-0 up, but the Nottingham Panthers came back and, and drew the game to, to two all there. But a sign of this team, we never crumble under pressure, as it were. Yeah, I mean, they're a tricky team, Nottingham. They're some very good players, very skilled. They create a lot of good offense. They're well organized, and they make it tough on you. And if you're not, if you're not moving out there, they can catch you out. And uh, they did put us under pressure there and tied the game 2-2, but I thought we reacted pretty well. And, and came back strong and overall I thought we were the better team I thought we deserved the win tonight it was a bit bit unfortunate when they they tied the game late there on the power play but we still again you know the team found a way to, to go and get a goal and we've waxed Lerigal all season about Brookwell and uh, Elfring at the back but Elfring to Brookwell comes up with a comes up with a goal as well tonight you know that pair, pairing at the back and moving forward is also good well, you know, looking at uh, the pairing, they've been t two of the top pairing in the league, two incredible players, both very different, so they complement each other very well. And uh, Brookwell, I'm surprised because he, he tends to be overlooked. Uh, you know, when you talk about uh, player of the week or player of the month, I mean, with the way he's performed this year, easily he's been one of the top defensemen in the league. You don't notice him as much because he doesn't put a lot of points on the board. He does put some, and he, and he can go in the power play and make things happen. But overall, his, his strength is his defensive play, and uh, for me, he's been one of the top defensemen in the league this year. And this victory tonight means nothing if we go and lose to the Dundee Stars at home here on Saturday night. It's time to refocus and uh, be ready for the arrival of uh, Jeff Hutchins and his team. Well, I, I think, um, you know, I don't think ahead in terms of winning and losing. I think uh, it was a big win tonight and whatever happens Saturday, it's still a big win tonight. But of course, we're going to want to go out and, and can continue the same way and keep playing the same way and keep getting results. And every time, like I say, we put two points up on the board, the teams trailing us have to do a lot to catch us up.